Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Randy from Elite Lineman Training Institute. Nice, brisk morning out here. Our students will be out in a little bit climbing poles and building our three-phase feeder. But what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that we use in the industry on how to pull a pole ground, pole bond. When you're setting a new pole and you have to run a ground wire down from the neutral or a piece of equipment, we have to pull it tight. So I'm going to show you two different techniques that are used in the industry. Uh, for you old timers, I'm sure you have a lot of other tricks up your sleeves, but these are just basic ways to pull a pole ground for the young guys first starting out. So come on and join me and we'll learn something today. Okay, so what we do is we come over to our pole that we have laid out and we have a pole ground coming down the pole. And what we need to do we need to pull it tight so that when we set the pole it's not flopping around and then when we do all of our attachments with the equipment everything is uniform so what we'll do is if you come over here um, we're going to take our copper ground we're going to take a pair of clines i've made a little bend in it and we're going to take our clines we're going to place it on the butt of the pole with the wire wrapped around the clines we would pull it tight, okay? Now our pole ground is pulled tight. Well, normally you do this operation with two men, and what would we would end up doing is I would pull the pole ground tight, then the next man, about six feet up, I have a staple in the pole already set, and they would go ahead, once I pull tight, they would go ahead and set the staple. What that will do is from that staple to the top of the pole, our pole ground would be very tight. Okay, so this is the basic lineman skill that they're taught on how to pull a pole ground. Now, there is another situation where when a pole is, uh, we're dealing with say a 60, 65, 70 foot pole and we need to pull it tight. It's a long ways to pull a piece of copper. So what we can do is we can take a short, small little grip. We put it on our wire. We get a can hook that we use to move poles around with, okay? We take the can hook and we hook it into the grip and we place the end of the can hook on the butt of the pole. By doing that, we can now pull. And as you see, the pole ground gets taut. It's very tight. So by doing this method, I can, I can pull the pole ground on a 60, 70, 80 foot pole, whatever length that I need, I can pull it to uh, stretch it out and then be able to staple it down the pole. Again, this would be a procedure that we would use two men, one to pull, the other to set the staple, and then you can go about finishing up your work. So this is a little trick here, using a can hook and a grip. Thank you, have a good day. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to check us out and all our other videos and please subscribe below.